time I try to make it on my Every time I try to stand, I start to Let's have a song on our hearts. That's good. thank the Lord for saving me and for all that he's done for me. Um, I had a dream last night. And Sharon was in it and she was shouting. Bless her, Lord. And I started shouting. Bless her, Lord. 
and with everything that's been going on that was such a blessing to me and I know that was God speaking to me through my dreams and I just thank him for stuff like that yeah.
the Lord for saving me. I thank him for my family and for what he's done for us and for yeah. my kids and getting up and singing. And yeah. had a couple of albums this week and I had good reports both times and I want to thank God for that. Yeah. God's word and we get strength and pray I feel like that we're going to make it through they heard the king's commandment to the idol they must bow but those three Hebrew children said we will stand our ground and when a second chance was offered they chose to face the flames and God showed up in the fire and he delivered them that day I choose to stand up for the right I won't bow to this world of sin I'm a blood ball child of God and by his grace I've been born again I'll stand up like the Hebrew children and obey the Lord's command I don't need a second chance I choose to stand I'm not ashamed to stand for Jesus For one day he stood for me Though the world may criticize me And I face adversity Oh, but I made my choice to serve him Even if I stand alone For I'd rather be an old-time Christian Than anything I know I choose to stand up for the right I won't bow to this world of sin I'm a blood-ball child of God And by His grace I've been born again I'll stand up like the Hebrew children And obey the Lord's command I don't need a second chance I choose to stand Anybody else have a song on their heart? Anybody else sing? Why y'all want to hear us sing? <laughs> oh Lord, that's a good thing. <laughs> Tor, come up here. <laughs> First time I ever sung the song was at graduation. I've sung it to death, but yeah, I do like it. I love the song. Uh, I remember I would hum it and I'd sing it while I was gone in Missouri. And uh, people, you know, they've never heard that kind of song. <laughs> but it meant a lot to me. And it helped me while I was over there, you know, while I was gone. 
because uh, there's if you're not careful, there's some bad influences. Luckily, you know, I said straight out first day I got there. Uh, they asked me, you know, to say a little bit about myself. They, you know, they said they didn't care, but just that we work as a unit. And uh, I told them, I said, I'm a born again Christian. I never drank alcohol, nor do I ever want to. You know, never done drugs. I, you know, I abstain from the things of the world. And they looked at me like I was something crazy, <laughs> which was a good thing. For two weeks, they didn't even talk to me. They didn't bother me or anything. So yeah, I had the desired effect. It was about two weeks later they started talking to me and realizing that I wasn't completely crazy, just a little bit. And uh, uh, I think that really did help. I think the Lord that uh, He allowed me to, you know, be separate from any influences because I was worried. That's the number one thing I was worried about that I wouldn't come back the same that I left and I didn't want that to happen I wanted to come back the same as I left and uh, the Lord really helped me it's just me and the Lord nobody else uh, out of 200 people it's just me and the Lord and that's all I need and that's why I like this song because I don't need nobody else <laughs> he's all I need <laughs> Satisfy my soul, but I need Jesus and all He can give, for He's my salvation and He's why I live. all I need when trials come. He's all I need when there's nowhere to turn. When I'm in trouble, I'm caught in the storm. He takes care of me. And He's all I need when my time has come. And I've crossed that river when my life here is done. Well, I fought the battle, the victory's been won, and He's all I need. Well, I don't need fortune, and I don't need fame. Don't really care if anyone down here ever knows my name. But I know Jesus, and He knows me. And that's all that matters. For he is a master and he's my everything And he's all I need when trials come He's all I need when there's nowhere to turn When I'm in trouble, I'm caught in my storm he takes care of me And He's all I need When my time has come And I've crossed that river When my life here is done Well, I fought the battle The victory's been won And He's all I need
Every time I sing that song, I think, for what does the profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And what would a man give in exchange for his soul? I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I was thinking today, I was thinking uh, about, you know, work. I was at work and things wasn't going right. And, you know, we get stuck in little things like that and you just had enough and you're fit to be tied. And something so small will just aggravate you for the rest of the day. And I was I was thinking, you know, it, God is God and His will will be done in my life. And I was thinking, why should I fear man who can only hurt my body? You know, it says that in the Bible, where we should fear God who can hurt your body and your soul. God, God's what He's what He's what uh, is important in life. That's what matters is God. I'm telling you, I hope, I hope there's never time where God, I hope I put God precedence in my life each and every day. I hope there's never time where I forget that God is, is of utmost importance in my life. Anybody else have a song? I wasn't, I wasn't going to sing, but right. um, I was fighting it. I said, Lord, if you'll give me an opening, I'll talk and I'll sing. And so he made me get up here. So I'll do my best because I've never sung this song out or anything. But um, I've been a Christian my whole life. The moment that I was born, you know, the next Sunday I was in church. And I've just always believed in God. And I've been saved since I was nine years old. But there's nothing I've ever really, really wanted out of him that he hadn't already given me nothing that I had to really, really pray for. And um, I really, really wanted a good report for Mama. And so I, I had been praying about it, and and he gave me what I wanted because I was earnest, and I sought his face, and I just think it's amazing that in all his omnipotency and his greatness and glory, he could, he could still bend down and hear me and... <clears throat> What matters to me matters to him, even though I'm a big nobody and nobody knows my name. Nobody knows who I am, but because it matters to me, it matters to him. And he still hears every prayer that I say, everything that I've ever prayed to him that's ever come out of my mouth, he remembers. And he knows, and I don't have to repeat myself because he remembers, and it matters to him because it matters to me. So pray for me here. The Lord is not too busy that he can't reach down and mend your hurting heart. And my burdens are not too heavy that he can't hear my prayer of faith. God still answers prayer. God still answers prayer. In his time, he'll work a miracle. He will never fail. Satan has lost the battle. When to the Lord you humbly bow, God still answers prayers. If you feel that life is hopeless and the night has no end, well, there's hope for your hurting heart. For he will be there with you no matter what you're going through. God still answers prayer. God still answers prayer. In his time, he'll work a miracle. He will never fail. Satan has lost the battle. When to the Lord you humbly bow, God still answers prayer.
anybody else have a song on your heart? If not, we're going to ask Jake. Hey man, if you have your Bibles, turn to Mark chapter number 5. Amen. I'm glad to be here, and uh, I'm glad that, that he saw fit for me, just like he saw fit for Carson one day, to save my soul, and uh, to set me on the right path, and to establish my going. And uh, there's been times that, that I have, I've looked back, and and I, I've taken things for granted, but all in all, he's always been there, and he's never left me. Amen. Mark chapter number 5, uh, a decent amount of reading, but it's pretty easy and pretty simple. Very, very familiar scripture. Amen. But this is the way the Lord led me to go tonight. Amen. Starting in verse number 1. Mark chapter 5 and verse number 1. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, unto the country of the Gadareans. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met with him a man of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broke broken in pieces neither could any man tame him and always and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones but when he saw Jesus afar off he ran and worshiped him and cried out with a loud voice and said what have I to do with thee Jesus thy son thy son of the most high God I adjure thee my God and thou torment me not for he said unto him come out of the man thou unclean spirit and he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he, and he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. And he forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And, he heard, and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the sea. There were about 2,000, and they're choked in the sea. I mean, that's all I'd like to read. Amen. And, and, if you, and if you think about the whole service, amen, the whole service has been about thanking God for what He's done for you. Amen. But tonight, if there's someone in here that doesn't really know if you're right with God, amen, or you think you might be and you're not as sure of that, amen, I can tell you right now, if you have doubt, you might not be where you need to be, and you probably aren't. Amen. But if the Lord would help me, I want to preach on, if there was hope for Him, then there's hope for you. Amen. If there was hope for him, then there's hope for you. Amen. We read here that Jesus, he got off the ship. Amen. No doubt probably tired because I'll get to the story but the, before that here in just a minute, but he was probably tired. Amen. And probably just ready. Amen. To get off and to relax. But as soon as he stepped off the ship, amen, we see that there's a man by the name of Legion that runs down and, and worships the name of Jesus and worships him because he knows that there's something different about the man who just got off the ship. Hey man, we see here, hey man, Legion. Hey man, they, they bound him with chains and fetters. Hey Amen. And tried their best oh, to try to, to bind him. Hey Amen. That when people would walk by with their children, hey Amen. No doubt they would grab them up and they would run. Hey Amen. Because Legion was so full. Hey Amen. Of the devil. But we see, hey Amen. That she was full. Hey Amen. But as soon as he saw Jesus, hey Amen. He ran to him and he said, Lord, what have I done? And the Lord cast the devils out of him. Hey Amen. But we see that he got to such a low place in his life. It said he was cutting himself. Hey Amen. They gave him power to break chains. Hey Amen. The sin will give you power. Hey Amen. To break the things. Hey Amen. That we try. Hey Amen. To help you. We lend out a hand. Hey Amen. We try to bring you to church. Hey Amen. And you can have power to shrug it off. Hey Amen. But what you don't realize. Hey Amen. And what he didn't realize. Hey Amen. Is he was bound. Hey Amen. By something. Hey Amen. Worse than the chains that they had bound him with. Hey Amen. He was bound with sin. Amen. Amen. Some of us. 
Hey man, I'm a young person, 17. Hey man, there's some young people in here that are bound with sin. Hey man, there's some young people in here that aren't as far as Legion is in this story. They aren't as far gone to have 2,000 devils cast into a herd of swine. Hey man, to go choke themselves. You're not that far. Hey man, because I can tell you, hey man, I've went far. Hey man, I know people who have went further. Hey man, Brother Clyde, he's not here tonight. Hey man, but he drank alcohol for years. Hey man, from my understanding. Hey man, Nikki, my sister's fiance. Hey man, from a young age. Hey man, dabbled in drugs and alcohol. Hey man, but the difference, hey man, between the old man that was there and the man that's here today is the by the name of Jesus. Hey man, because when they got, hey man, when they were all in sin, hey man, they felt all alone. They looked down and they saw Jesus, hey man, coming out of the ship and they ran down to worship him. Oh, hey man, there's some mommies and daddies in here who worry yourself to sleep, who cry to sleep. Hey man, who worry yourself to death. Hey man, makes you almost sick. Hey man, because your children aren't where they need to be with God. Hey man, because they, you bring them to church every Sunday. Hey man, some of them are older and you can't bring them to church anymore. Hey man, but that seed is still in there. Hey man, and my Bible says that seed won't leave them until the day they die. Hey man, and when they look back, hey man, at their church life, they see that emptiness. Hey man, and they feel that spirit drawn unto them. Hey man, but sometimes we feel like we're all alone. Hey man, but in Mark chapter 4, the chapter right before 5 that I just read out of, hey man, the Bible talks about the disciples that were on the ship. Hey man, it says there were small ships around them. Hey man, it said that the storm was raging and it was beating up against the ship and the ship was starting to sink and the water was getting so heavy. Hey man, mom and dad, I know it's getting heavy. Hey man, I know that the ship, you feel like it's about to sink. Hey man, but he hasn't left you. Hey man, he might just be asleep in the hole. Hey man, waiting on you to cry out. Hey man, waiting on your voice. Hey man, to hear him. Hey man, and to, 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 to beat him. Hey man, to come and to set you free. Hey man, because if there was hope for Legion, then there's hope for your lost people. Hey man, Daniel, do you care to stand up? I asked him before service because I was little. I didn't want to get up and do something that he wasn't aware of. Hey man, but Daniel, hey man, lived in a life of sin. Don't know what he dabbled in, don't need to. You can sit back down, thank you. Hey man, but all that time, hey man, he had a mama who was praying earnestly. Hey man, who was praying every day. Hey man, God, would you please not send my baby to hell? Hey man, would you please let him understand? Hey man, that he's bound by something. Hey man, that he doesn't even see. Hey man, but we see him here tonight. Hey man, because he finally found out that the chains he needed to break were the chains that we were trying to help him. Hey man, they were the chains that he had been tormented with. Hey man, but until he realized that, you probably thought that they were just bugging you. Hey man, wanted to get him off your back. Hey man, I know young person after young person. Hey man, because that's that's the people I hang around. Hey man, if you're older, I don't I don't hang around you that much. Hey man, but the young people that I hang around, I notice the most out of most of them. Hey man, that are lost. They say, I just don't understand why they bug me so much. Mom and dad, they're really getting on my nerves. They're really bothering me. Hey man, Legion's mommy and daddy might have been the same, most sanctified people out of all the out of all the land. Hey man, they might be bugging you. Hey man, but they're just trying to help you. Hey man. They might be asking you day in and day out, would you please come to church with me? Hey man, would you just read your Bible? Hey man, would you just pray? Hey man, I talked to a young man the other day. Hey man, I went to him. I felt like the Lord wanted me to go talk to him. Hey man, used to used to get up and work in the church. Hey man, but now he's got tattoos all over his body. Hey man, drinking alcohol. And I said, hey, I said, why are you doing it? He said, I just felt like God had left me. 
I said, what do you mean? He said, there was one instance in my life that I really wanted God to move. I really, I lived right. And I really earnestly prayed that God would move for it. He said he didn't. He said, so I lost faith. I said, well, maybe it wasn't the perfect will of God for that to happen the way you wanted it to happen. And he said, I, I don't know about that. He said, I believe in it, but different than other people, I feel like I might come back. I told him, I said, I love you. And I said, I care about you. I said, but this look in your eye. I said, you're bound by something that you don't even know that you're messing with. I said, you're bound by these addictions. Hey, man, and you think they're trying to help you. Hey, man, the sex, the drugs, and the alcohol. Hey, man, but in all reality, hey, man, you're just breaking off the chains. Hey, man, of a mommy and a daddy and some friends who love you so much. Hey, man, that they worry about you day and night. Hey, man, and you say, I'm hopeless. I ain't got nothing to do with church. I was saved when I was younger and I got out and I just don't feel that drawn anymore. Well, my friend, tonight could be your night to make things right. Hey, man to get back what you lost. Hey man, so many years ago, I told Emily Camper the other night after she shouted and oh, it blessed me so dearly. Hey man, because she's 12 or 13 years old. Hey man, putting God first in her life. I said, I know. Hey man, where you at? Hey man, when I was 12 or 13, I wanted everything with God. Hey man, and I know. Hey man, that you have a close walk with God. I said, but don't lose it. Hey man, I said, please. Whatever you do, hey man, hold on to what you have. Hey man, because if you hold on to it from when you're young, hey man, the older you get, hey man, the more powerful you can become. Hey man, the more of a prayer warrior you can be. Hey man, the more established in the word you can become. Hey man, if you buy the truth now and you sell it not, hey man, you can become an anchor. Hey man, in your family, you can become an anchor in the church, but it's all up to you. It's all up to you. He said, hey Amen. The disciples said, they cried out to Jesus, and Jesus came forth. He said, Child, where is your faith? Hey Amen. Faith will do it. Because faith without works is dead. Hey Amen. By faith we're saved. Faith is the number one thing Christians should have. But sometimes, as Christians, myself included, hey man, the storm comes, and the wind blows, and your children are knocking on the gates of hell. Hey man, just waiting for them to open and fall right in. Hey man, but, hey man, your faith is so weak. Oh, but it wasn't the faith of the disciples. Hey man, that got Jesus' attention. Hey man, it was the cry. Hey man, the cry of help. Hey man, the cry. Amen of distress. Amen the cry that we can't do it alone. Amen. Sister Amy. Hey man, there's uh, there's hope for John. Because if there was hope for him, hey man, there was hope. Hey man for Legion. There's hope for John. Hey man. And sinner friend. Hey man, there's hope for you. Hey man, in this day and time we live. Hey man, babies are being aborted by the thousands. Hey man, by the millions. Hey man, our country is in turmoil. But what better place could you be than tonight here in Antioch House of Prayer on, hey man, on August the 4th of 2021 on a Wednesday night? Hey man, you can write that date in your Bible. Hey man, as the day oh, that you finally hey man, saw Jesus get off the ship and you finally acknowledged hey man, that he needs to be Lord of your life. Hey man, and the things that you think hold dear hey man, to your heart aren't really all they're cracked up to be. Hey Amen. Amen. Hey because when you get out, 
of church as a young person and you leave, it's a lot harder to come back. Because if you're lost and you come to church, hey man, people love you and they welcome you. Hey man, but when, you, when no one knows you, hey man, you don't feel, hey man, like everybody's looking at you. Because when I was in sin, even though I acted the part and I played like I was a Christian, I might have had some people fooled, but I didn't have God fooled. He knew exactly where I was at. Amen. And so did the devil. He knew exactly where I was and exactly the way to get me. Hey Amen. He knows how to get you. Hey Amen. Grayson, he knows how to get you. Sydney, he knows how to get you. Kaylee, he knows how to get you. Hey Amen. He knows exactly. Hey Amen. What to go after you with. He knows exactly. Hey Amen. What to draw you with. At first, it might not be sin. Hey Amen. At first, it might just be something small. Hey Amen. But if you let it creep in, hey Amen. It'll get bigger and bigger and bigger until you find yourself at a tomb cutting yourself or in your bedroom at 17, 18 years old with a gun in your mouth ready to give up on life hey man because you say I just haven't seen him the way I want to see him hey man but tonight hey man that hope is lingering up here at that altar hey man and if you want to run hey man to Jesus and say God I'm ready for you to use me I'm ready for you to take my life hey man take complete control hey man and not look back I'm ready to die out hey man I'm ready but the problem well I was, I was there I know exactly what the problem is <coughs> you want God but you can't let go of sin <laughs> And I'll tell you the biggest problem for young people and maybe old people alike, older people, I'm not there yet, so I don't know. Hey Amen. Is the people that you hang around, hey Amen, will determine who you're going to be. Hey Amen. Your friends, hey Amen, can tell me exactly where you're going to be in the next five years, Carson. Amen. You say, I can't just shun them. No, you don't shun them. But you love them from a distance. Amen. And you let God take care of them. And you let God try to do a work with them. Amen. And you try to sow that seed. Amen. Every time that you're with them. Amen. You don't give in to what they're giving into. Amen. Because I played Christian on the outside. Amen. But when I got alone with my friends. Amen. The part of me that really. Amen. Was going to be me. Amen. Started to come out. Amen. And I started doing things I never wanted to do because I was friends that I hung around. Amen. You say you're blaming them? No, I'm not blaming them at all. It was all me. Because if you're someone who blames everybody else for your problems, you're never going to get anywhere. You've got to own up to everything that you have done. And you've got to really be sincere and say, God, if it takes losing my best friend, I'll do it. God, if it takes, hey man, me getting rid of every single piece of clothing in my wardrobe, hey man, I'll do it. Hey man, God, if it takes, hey man, me having not to go to my aunt's house every week and every other day, hey man, because she does things, oh, that I don't condone, hey man, I would do it. Hey man, my aunt is a lesbian. And everybody in here knows that we don't condone that. Hey Amen. Love the sinner, hate the sin. Hey Amen. I hate what has her bound, but I love her. Hey Amen. And she asks me all the time to come to her house. And most of the time, I don't have time because I work and, and I go to church. And, and really, that takes up a lot. And then reading and praying. And, hey Amen. And family time. But she lives in Bristol and she said, Come on down and we'll hang out. And, and we'll do, we'll do some things. And she knows that I'm a preacher. She knows I'm a Christian. Hey, man. 
But the time that I go down there, and I probably will, hey man, here in the next couple months or so, hey man, I'm a keeper at bay. Hey man, but that might be the only time that she'll hear about the Lord. Hey man, from then till the next time that I see her, I don't know when our last chance is going to be. Hey man, but I do know oh, that there's hope for her. Hey man, just like there was hope for him. Hey man, there's hope. Hey man, that he can turn her mind around. Hey man, from that nonsense that she's in. Hey man, and he can set her feet on a solid rock and establish her going. Hey man, there's a hope if you'll come and get it. Hey man, and I wonder who in here can finally ditch the pride. And you say, I feel a tear. I really feel something. Will you come pray? And if you don't get saved tonight, come back and pray until you finally pray through. Hey man, we expect it all to happen in just one step. We expect it all to happen in our bedroom in the dark and, and say, I got saved and, and still live in our shell. Hey man, I don't, I got saved in a living room. I'm not saying you can't get saved somewhere else. Hey man, but that meekness tonight and that getting rid of all your pride and humbling yourself down. Hey man, at this altar. Hey man, and finally leaving your sin. Hey man, at the cross where you can take up a new beginning. Hey man, because Legion was at the feet of Jesus. Hey man, and you to get rid of the things in your life need to come down here at this altar right at the feet of Jesus. Hey man, who is standing with open arms. Hey man, to welcome you in. Hey man, and give you hope. Hey man, joy and peace and long suffering. Hey man, gentleness, kindness, meekness, temperance. Hey man, everything. He can give it all to you. Hey man, but if you say I'm going to wait. Hey man, he might not. Hey man, deal with you again and it might be your last chance. Hey man, at finding the hope that Legion found. Hey man. I know it's simple, but that's what the Lord wanted me to preach. And I've learned a lot in this last year of preaching, is if God ain't in it, it hurts a lot of people. And if God ain't in it, it does more wrong than it does good. Hey Amen. So if it's simple, I'll be simple. And if it's complex, I'll be complex. Hey Amen. But tonight, hey Amen, Sister Sarah, if you don't care to come, get me a song. Hey Amen. You've got to make up your mind. Oh, whether you want to keep the chains. Oh, that you can see. Hey Amen. The chains that really aren't around you. As much as as much as thrown at you. Hey Amen. To try to get you to grab them and pull you out of that muck that you're in. Hey Amen. But. Oh, but are you going to keep the chains that keep you held down that none of us can see right now? Amen. But I assure you that your family, they see it. I assure you that the friends you hang around and the people you hang around, they see it. Hey, man, and when Levi and Beth get older, and when Creed gets older, hey, man, their mom is going to be worrying just like your mom's worrying. Hey, man, their mom is going to be wondering where you're at. Hey, man, their mom is going to be asking. Hey, man, calling you, saying you didn't tell me where you's at. Hey, man, they have to tell you. Hey, man, but if you live right, hey, man, your mama will trust you. Hey, man, if you live right, hey, man, she'll call you wondering where you're at, wondering if you're safe, not if you're doing something you're not supposed to. Hey, man. As she begins to play. Hey, man, there's somebody here that really needs to die out and break those chains that have held you captive for only God knows how long. Amen. Because kids look up to you. If you're a teenager, if you're older, I don't know. Amen. But kids look up to you. Amen. I look up to my mom and dad. Amen. But the next step, amen, is Emily. She looks up to you, Kaylee. Hey man, Emily. Hey man, there's little girls that look up to you. Hey man, there's boys that look up to me that I don't even know it. Hey man, and I've got to live a life according to the word of God. Hey man, to where they can look at me and say, I want what he's got. Hey man, I look up to Carson. Hey man, because he's a little older than me. Hey man, but when I was in sin and knew I needed to get to where I needed to be, I would think I want to be like Carson because he didn't hang out with us. He was our friend. But the things we did, I didn't see him doing. Hey man, the way we acted, I didn't see him acting. Hey man, and now 